Hello dear friends, I hope you all are having a wonderful period of learning and this channel Literary City is especially dedicated to the knowledge and to the interesting facts related with English literature. Here we discuss about literary theories and important texts and now these days I am conducting a series of uh, quizzes, some important questions which I deem uh, will enhance your perspective regarding net exams uh, today we are going to take a very important writer uh, Thomas Hardy he was a quintessential Victorian novelist and his novels are known for his pessimistic vision of the world uh, dear friends uh, Hardy in his novels has presented uh, what we call Tina factor. Tina factor stands for there is no alternative or we can say he presented man as trapped into the uh, strings of circumstances from which there was no liberation. Most of his novels also presented uh, some objectionable uh, according to Victorian standards uh, questions uh, and doubts regarding religion and marriage and other social institutions that is why his later works like Tass and Jude were um, not only bashed but he was forced to stop novel writing okay uh, we will start today's quiz which is based on his novels and also his poetry on the contrary his poetry is full of uh, rural charm and he is a very beautiful nature poet we will see all this in these questions so our first question dear friend is what is the subtitle of thomas hardy's first wessex novel uh, i know you all uh, know this term wessex wessex is the name given by Thomas Hardy to the reason uh, which he set as a geo geological reason a geographical reason in almost all of his novels he call it Wessex so what is the subtitle of this first Wessex novel under the green wood tree mind you uh, Hardy had already written two novels before this but this was the novel which he, he uh, set in this particular uh, imaginary uh, region that is Wessex. So, uh, was it a rural painting of the Dutch school or the Malstock choir or a story of today? Uh, these three and fourth option is both A and B. You have to tell what was the subtitle okay quite interestingly uh, it is not one but both a and b these both were the subtitle of this novel under the greenwood tree and here i would like also to add a story of today it is also a subtitle although it is not the subtitle of under the greenwood tree it is subtitle of another hardy's novel uh, a uh, so here the answer is D both A and B okay so our next question dear friends uh, is which among these is the first novel to be published under Hardy's own name now uh, Hardy published initial two works anonymously uh, it is only with this particular novel that he took his name on the front page so you have to tell me which is the first novel uh, which Hardy published with his name uh, on the print was it a pair of blue eyes desperate remedies the hand of Ethelberta or the poor man and the lady uh, let me also in uh, add here the poor man and the lady is considered to be the first work written by Thomas Hardy which was not published and desperate remedies is considered to be uh, the first work which was published but the first work uh, with uh, which Hardy put his own name was a pair of blue eyes this is the right answer okay G uh, coming to our next question which novel is supposedly the origin of the term 
cliff hanger because of a dramatic scene where the protagonist hangs precariously from a cliff a very interesting and a very remarkable scene this uh, scene happens in this novel uh, where uh, the uh, protagonist henry knight he is hanging from a cliff and he is having a vision he reviews the entire history of the world and then uh, the heroine of this particular novel uh, she comes and saves him and this hanging from the cliff this hanging between life and death Hardy himself uh, uh, confesses that it was only to create uh, an element of suspense because mo like other most of the other Victorian novels of the time it was also published in a magazine uh, to sustain uh, the suspense among the readers for the next installment uh, this device was quite used even by Dickens uh, it, it was used uh, similarly by Hardy also so the, the novel novel in which this particular scene happens is once again a pair of blue eyes yes dear friends it is in this novel that henry knight hangs from a cliff and from this particular novel we have uh, this famous uh, critical term cliffhanger which is applied to a work to a novel to a movie which uh, which which has a climax which is nail biting for the uh, for the audience or the viewers okay our next question is from where did how it de how did derive the title for the novel under the green wood tree now under the green wood tree it is a beautiful song so let me give you a hint is it a Bain Johnson's poem is it from a song a satire of John Dunn or from a play Shakespearean play or a Dryden's poem you have to tell me where from where we have uh, this particular uh, song this particular uh, uh, title under the greenwood tree uh, dear friends uh, many novels of hardy uh, they derived their uh, title from some other works similarly under the greenwood tree this was derived from a song from a shakespearean play and if you have worked out uh, shakespeare if you have completely covered Shakespeare I think you know very well from which play this has been taken you can message me you can put it into the comment if you know this also okay coming to our next question partly real partly dream country thus for the first time in this novel Hardy describes and uses the name Wessex for his fictional reason I have already told you that uh, Hardy created just like uh, uh, we can find uh, Malgudi in Ark and Narayan similarly Hardy used this device of creating a entirely fictional country but dear friends Wessex was partly real it was based on the observation of hardy himself his locality and partly dream country thus he describes this wessex reason and uh, what is the answer under the greenwood tree far from the madding crowd a laudation or the hand of the ethelberta okay there is no need to guess anymore it is far from the madding crowd where he uses this term <coughs> okay one of the most popular novels by hardy is the return of the native this uh, particular novel first appeared as a serial and you have to guess the name of the magazine <coughs> dear friends uh, i have mentioned this thing uh, so many times that these days paper of the net covers all the aspects of our work its publication history its publishers so you must also be aware of certain more important works that they are complete aspects so this is a question related with the publication history so was it cornhill magazine let me tell you that hardy published many novels uh, from cornhill magazine in Tinsley's magazine let me further add that earlier novels of the Hardy were published in this magazine Belgravia magazine and Harper's monthly magazine later novels of Hardy were published in Harper's monthly magazine 
<coughs> the answer for this question the return of the native was first published in balcravia magazine okay moving to our next question which among these novel is the only historical novel written by hardy there was uh, we can say a uh, vogue for writing historical novel at that time many writers were doing <coughs> doing it uh, dickens also uh, tried his hand barnaby ridge and uh, um, we can say tale of two cities similarly thackeray also wrote uh, uh, in the similar fashion hardy also tried his hand and the options are the trumpet major the laudation two on a tar the ha the hand of ethelberta okay the answer for is is the trumpet major Uh, the background of this novel is the napoleonic wars and the whole novel is uh, basically very well woven in with the historical events <coughs> our next question dear friends is the novels of hardy are always critically acclaimed for their powerful women characters uh, we need not mention only tass and uh, sue bridehead even bathsheba this particular novel uh, once again features paula power she is a modern woman in many ways she refuses to be baptized in the local church she is al she also asserts her identity even the title this title refers to her unconventional way of thinking which does not suit the society the novel is a laudation the hand of adelberta the return of the native which once again contains a very powerful women character eustacia and two on a tower dear friends the answer is a laudation laudation is basically a term which which basically refers to group of uh, christians who are quite lukewarm in their uh, religious convictions similarly paul a power she is not a uh, we can say great uh, follower of christianity and she has her own way and her own uh, mindset <coughs> our next question dear friends is which of the novel by hardy contains these lines from a richard crasher's poem as the epigraph ah my heart her eyes and she have taught the new astrology here the key lies because the protagonist of this novel is basically an astronomer so these lines have a definite uh, uh, context and value uh, to the novel is it the return of the native the mayor of the castlebridge far from the madding crowd or two on a tower uh, the answer dear friend is two on a tower here uh, the protagonist he is basically an astronomer and he also fall in love with a uh, girl then what happens a typical hardy story where a uh, suitor has uh, a girl has more than one suitor <coughs> our next question dear friends is which of the hardy's novel has little hintock as its setting little hintock is presented a beautiful area covered with woods and forest and uh, the inhabitants here they have their own world which is disturbed by the entry of the uh, outsiders so the so whole novel has this just like agdon heath in the return of the native little hintock is also a very special place so is it the woodlanders tess jude or the trumpet major as i already hinted it is the woodlanders a uh, hearts insurgent it is the name with which this novel of hardy was published as a serial in harper's new monthly magazine dear friends let me add here that this was the uh, novel which basically uh, virtually put an end to hardy's career as a novelist he was so uh, bashed he was so you, uh, you know uh, the novel got so many negative reviews that he decided no more to write right novels uh, he wrote basically poetry after that uh, i hope you have got the idea it was jude the obscure which was published uh, with the title hearts insurgent earlier and then as a novel it was uh, titled jude the obscure 
Our next question: the subject matter of the darkling thrush, with, which is considered to be Hardy's best known poem. What is the subject matter? Is it a serene scene of a garden, or is it a tragic description of the thrush, thrush sorry fate, or is it an elegy on the death of the 19th century, or is it a romantic poem describing life's little joys? Uh, now uh, many poets have written poems on uh, birds and they have associated anthropomorphic qualities with birds we can remember skylark by shelley and nightingale by keats and similarly the darkling thrush but here hardy doesn't describe a scene or uh, and give it a, an anthropomorphic quality rather it he presents an elegy on the death of the 19th century how the century has come to an end okay uh, which among the following facts about the dynasts is true dynasts is considered to be uh, the greatest mature work of thomas hardy he dedicated a long uh, span of his life to this work into this verse drama and uh, he basically got many positive review for the treatment of the subject and the seriousness of the uh, hardy's application so the facts are it is a historical verse drama about the invasion and fall of napoleon second the spirit of years shade of earth spirit sinister these function as the chorus third is it presents hardy's central vision of a blind unconscious force that he called the imminent imminent will this is most important this concept of imminent will or in easy word which we have discussed in the beginning tina factor there is no alternative there is a will in the nature which can't be crossed this has been presented in so many works of hardy like uh, whether it is the mayor of castlebridge or even uh, the return of the native so uh, which among these facts are correct is it first or second first or third second or third or d all are correct dear friends in this case all these facts are correct it is a yes you all know it is a drama verse drama about the invasion and fall of napoleon these spirits act as the chorus in this particular drama it is a close at drama it was not meant to be played on stage but rather to be read the convergence of the twain it is a very popular and topical poem by hardy what is its subject matter the sinking of the titanic ship the bow was the fall of napoleon the end of 19th century and the beginning of a new one dear friends hardy has written uh, poems on all these subjects so these all are equally applicable but this particular poem the convergence of the twain it was written as a poem uh, mourning the sorry fate of titanic ship this event which happened uh, it basically inspired hardy to write this uh, poem in which he presented once again his philosophical view about the working of world <coughs> now these two questions you have to match columns the first question deals with the character and the uh, related novel so we have heroines hardy's heroine bathsheba alfred swancourt grace mulberry and fancy day you have to find out uh, the novels uh, where uh, in which they appear bathsheba we all know she is a moody she is a beautiful she she flirts also she is the heroine of far from the madding crowd so first uh, option is a alfred swan swan court uh, she is a girl with blue eyes so i need not uh, describe any further she is a pair of blue eyes heroine grace mulberry she is once again a uh, uh, we can say quite uh, a girl with gritty determination she she has her own mind that is why she 
initially ditch uh, her lover or even fiance she is the heroine of the woodlanders and fancy day an innocent girl uh, who later changes her opinion when she comes with uh, education that is under the greenwood tree so option first first a second b third c and fourth d this one is correct <coughs> Now here in this particular question you have to match these characters from Hardy's novel with their profession in the novel. Stephen Smith, uh, Swithin Cleave, Edred Fitzpiers or John Loveday. So Stephen Smith, Stephen Smith he is basically uh, dear friends a doctor. He is a doctor and he is a character in a pair of blue eyes and uh, Swithin Cleave. He is an astronomer. He loves to watch stars and which becomes a reason for his tragedy. To, uh, the, novel, the name of the novel is Two on a Tower. Edred Fitzpiers, uh, he is basically um, uh, an architect. He, he comes from the novel The Woodlanders and John Loveday, he is the titular trumpet major, which is only a historical novel by Hardy. So your option is first C, second A, uh, third D and fourth B, that is second option. Okay, dear friends, these were some questions which I have picked from Hardy. Basically, I want to and I try to bring questions that are unique, that are generally not found in any uh, guidebook so that you can understand some unique aspects about these great and major writers. I hope you are enjoying these classes. Your views and inputs are always welcome and I thank you a lot for your unflinching support. Thank you, friends.